She's the best thing she's, we've got. She's our hope. A friendly debate between voters at Marianne's Diner in Amherst, where presidential candidate Nikki Haley stops by. But I would absolutely vote for her in the primary, but it's not a vote for her, it's a vote against Trump. The former South Carolina governor and UN ambassador employing retail style politics long celebrated in New Hampshire to woo votes before Tuesday's primary. It's a very different experience to meet a candidate face to face or even get as close as we are going to get with Nikki Haley today. And that's still a very pivotal part of the election. We got to get our economy back on track. We got to get our kids reading again. We've got to secure this border once and for all. Haley says she has a better chance at beating President Biden in the general election than President Trump. There is a way forward for all of us to leave this chaos, to leave the investigations, to leave the senior citizens that are trying to run D.C. But undeclared voter Dan O'Donnell is not entirely sold. If this were the general election and she was the Republican candidate and, you know, or whatever, I, I would have to see what she did between now and then. Now, as Ben was talking about earlier, the other big news of the day, uh, the former South Carolina, the South Carolina senator, former presidential candidate Tim Scott, is expected to endorse President Trump tonight. That could be a blow to Nikki Haley, but she says she is planning to continue on to South Carolina, regardless of how uh, her results play out here in New Hampshire.